Hi guys, and welcome to another video here at Grace Field Homestead. Oh, and my son's at Gracefield Gardens. So I'm Gracefield Gardens over on Instagram and Gracefield Homestead here. So today, so today in this video, I am going to be doing some things. Oh, my flower shop. If you were new here, this used to be my homeschool room or has been my homeschool room. And currently today, we are switching some things over and we're switching it back to my flower shop. It's so bittersweet. Let me take you inside and see what's going on. We can talk more about it. Okay, so we're inside. Let's talk more about what's going on and what I want to go on in here. There's gonna be lots of updates, lots of changes. We're going from this um, woodland themed to more, we're gonna date it back a little bit to something more, I don't know, maybe rustic, maybe cottage, maybe oh, old fashioned homestead. Aaron said homestead here with this mirror this mirror was a hundred and twenty dollars at Lowe's and it was on the clearance rack for forty four dollars and I was so excited um, because I was just at the Goodwill to find um, a mirror and it was or excuse me a um, yeah a mirror and it was sixteen dollars at the Goodwill but you see there's a crack here and so because of the crack I was able to get this for $15 um, it was posted, so it says forty-four fifty-seven. It was fifty percent off, which would have made it twenty-two thirty, give or take. And then um, I got it for fifteen because of this. I'm gonna put flowers over there. Now this hay, <laughs> this is here because we have goats and we have animals, and I wanted to be in here so that bunnies. Yeah, I didn't want it to get wet. But back there is my children's art station and their art desk. And I think I'm going to leave that there. And I think that I'm going to leave all of the shelves that I have here. This is their whole library. So I'm not going to mess with the library. I'm not going to mess with all their craft items. Um, I thought for a split second about getting rid of my library. I'm just not going to do that. I love this. I've spent 12 years building up this library starting homeschool when I didn't know anybody or anything to homeschool have a penny when I didn't have nothing so your girl's not I'm not giving that up I'm just not gonna do it but what I'm gonna do is let that side be that side and then all of this side this whole right side that's what I'm gonna work with and that is what I am going to build up and see if I can make something beautiful my bag here to collect my trash We've got a charger um, over here these are some goodies that I was gifted from a friend who has a uh, kind of primitive vintage style shop and she blessed me with these things this table right here came from inside of my house. I got this from an antique store right here. And so um, I just brought this here in case I bake anything or have anything there. Um, and just, yeah. So uh, up until this point, it's always been this minty type green color. But I, like I said, I'm going to change that up. I'm going to change some things. And I do have a lot of stuff here. These are just books and just different things. We've kind of got a bit of a mess here. We need to clean up at the end of the day. So we did have like a little snack station with bowls and tea and wipes and things like that. That's the part that I'm really torn between because I really love what I've set up here. This wooden um, area that's really beautiful, that's, um, that's really nice. But I was thinking it honestly could be moved and something else done with this. I could actually have baskets and trays here and the produce could actually be in this entire section. The produce could be in baskets and in trays and I could give this thing um, a new life. Here's some of the woodland thing that I was kind of um, telling you about over there. Oh, you're saying hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, and then the last thing that I wanted to do is I have new curtains to change out these curtains. I have this kind of vintagey chair. So it's going to really go with the feel when I get the curtains in here and I get the item. So I'm gonna just stop talking um, and take a few things off the shelf, get some things off the floor, and we're gonna see what we end up with here. So 
I cleansed off this shelf and I've moved, please get off the hay, and I moved all of the vases together in the same spot. This was right here, this bookshelf, and what I'm doing is I'm gonna move the bookshelf behind me and I'm gonna move this table right here in the middle. The mirror is gonna go above this right here and I have a picture that I just brought with me that is gonna go probably on this side right here. So even though I gave up this space for a year to homeschool the kids in, I can say it was a great decision because the place looks better than ever. When I first got it, I put in floors and um, I had just a few nice things, but now it actually has drywall, it has electric. So it was a really good thing that I took that year off to just really think about some things and just to really reflect. Been slow, but they're happening. Y'all, why am I already sweating? So good that chair is just looking already with this table a whole mood is already being set so i'm actually just going to go right ahead and put this mirror up here now i'm hoping this table's not too short now that i think about it i'm like dang it might be shorter than i was expecting so i just lifted this mirror <laughs> and um it's not quite giving me what i was wanting it to give me this mirror i didn't realize was I mean, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking about what it match my table. It doesn't really match my table. So, table. something I've been thinking about doing, because it's, it's really too wide. Um, I was about to sell these desks, because I do have four of Mom, them over Mom. here. Something I was thinking about doing was maybe lining up the four desks, getting a really pretty tablecloth, really pretty table covering, or two of them, and just cover the desk and then just use those to set everything on. Then I don't have to sell them. I don't have to haggle with people for price. It'll give me coverage from this wall right here all the way to this wall right here. And that'll give me space to put all the flowers, all the vegetables, all the produce. And then I might not even have to move this so that when my kids are in this space, they still have their own space because they'll still have the space to play with all their wooden toys or have their books. They'll have... Um... So it's raining outside and that's totally okay because we're getting things done. I'm getting things done here and if you are... Um, returning to my channel you know when I get things done to so go ahead and put it beside you and we get it done together because you know we get things done over here I am a mommy of five with the animals with the kids with all the things and so we don't have time to waste we need to get it in when we can get it in when we have the time and the energy and so if you're like me I know that's you too let me turn you around and show you how we sit and how we looking right now so this is how we're looking I haven't touched anything back there. Whoa, this thing is swallowing me live. <laughs> That's okay. We want to be modest. But so um, I haven't touched anything behind me, but we have the mirror. The mirror is going to go up in the middle. And Lonnie's desk was smaller because, of course, you know, she's my baby. And all the other three desks were the same. And so I feel like it's about the same here as it is here. So I'm totally going to do what I said. And you know what? I said I was going to buy a tablecloth. Let me tell you what your girl is gonna do. I may have to shut that door. Uh, yes, Papa. Tell you what I think I'm gonna do. I think that instead of buying a tablecloth, which is gonna be a lot of money, what I'm gonna do is buy a sheet. I'm totally gonna rock a sheet on there because a sheet is like five or ten dollars at Walmart, okay? And that's not if you, like if you don't have it on clearance or have any extra. So I'm really excited about that. So I think when I put the sheet, I'm gonna get my curtains up first and to decide what color. No, we're going to leave that there. I don't want the hay getting wet. Where would you take it? Uh, greenhouse? No, it would get, I don't have space oh, in there. It's wet. Workshop? We're leaving it where it is. Thank you. So, I'm going to put a sheet there that's going to match the curtains, and it's just going to look so nice. Now we have to talk about this section right here. So, obviously, I have some things that I need to clean, but I'm thinking that this still kind of will work in the space, just not where I had it. And I was thinking instead of trying to sell it again, that maybe I would just take this. Could you leave the hay alone, please? I think I'm going to take this and maybe stick it here where this bench is. Because I do have this green bench that we don't really sit on. <laughs> but I mean the bench. Oh, you know what? And actually, I can take this bench and stick it on the outside of my shed. Oh my goodness, that is such a beautiful idea because I have some pots that I could put there, but if I have any trays of anything, I can just set it on there. Yes, yes, yes. And then maybe I could even have this out there to just kind of have like a menu of whatever I have. 
I don't know, but we're getting somewhere. Yeah, like you said, for the week or for the day. So I think that this for now is just gonna um, maybe be here, but with plans on sliding it over because I think it's gonna fit the space really good and just still flow. So I have some goodies here. I did a video, a friend gifted me these. I'm gonna link that video. I think I'm gonna just take a look and just see what things are looking like. So this is not the finished thing, but I just wanted to play around with the stuff that she gave me. And um, yeah, and so this is not the tablecloth that'll be here, but this was just a tablecloth that I had in here in the school room. And you can just see like, <laughs> it gives it a whole new life and a whole new vibe. So just imagine this was all covered. It really does give it a nice look. And then I do have that hidden storage underneath. So I am really loving this. I, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do this particular setup. But it will be kind of cute to have my eggs, you know, here and just have eggs in the basket. Like, how cute is that? Okay, and also like this as well. Like, again, this is not going to be here. Like, I'm just playing with this, just getting some idea. But look, again, having the eggs over there and then just having the carton of eggs here. Um, they could maybe put the money there. Just, just really cool ways to, <laughs> to just do something so simple. This is where I'm going to end today because... Oh, I've got to go in, um, get dinner going, got some things that need to be done. And yeah, I think while I'm doing that, I can be deciding I have extra curtains. So maybe I could even bring one of the curtains. Uh, I don't think it'd be long enough, but I even have some curtains that I have from the thrift, not curtains. I have some, um, mattress not mattress oh my goodness i have some tablecloths that i have thrifted in my um tablecloth collection and so this might be long like seriously one of those might be long enough i'm pretty positive because my table is a big table it fits a lot of chairs and so i think i have like three colors that i thrifted and i don't use them often because i try to keep like a neutral style more like of a neutral style table setting versus um i don't know it's like red and green like i have like four or five yellow but that will totally work over here and totally work for the um, curtain. So I don't know if I'm gonna continue this in this video or if I'll end it here and do a second part, but I do have to go make dinner and eat. But I am excited to finish up this area. I'm excited to get this area done. I will definitely be back sharing more with you. Inside with my China Hutch really quick. And oh my goodness, I think it can. Okay, so someone has huh, messed in my stuff, but you know what? Ugh, this is real life and sometimes this happens, so I'm gonna keep on moving. I ain't even embarrassed or nothing. All right, so I have pink. So this is actually from one of the curtains. What is this material? Okay, I have this yellowish color. Um, what is this color? Oh, I got blue. I think that's gonna be too dark for what I'm wanting. And this is just material. I think one of the boys went to get some sewing material and went messing in my stuff, but it's okay. So I have three options here. So this is not gonna match the curtains, but I love like roses. Roses and florals are my favorite if you can't tell. Don't always have like a flower dress. This one, I would use it, but I think this is a circle table. Oh, a circle tablecloth. So I have this yellow one here. Oh, am I focusing? Hold on. Okay, so I have this yellow one. This is one of the curtains. I have this green one. I have this, you know what, let's just take them all. On top of the bag where I keep the comforters and all that stuff. Here is the second set that matches. And there is the treasure. They had curtains in the front and the back and so one of them had um oh i guess they all had it had like this it has like the stripe and the gingham and the roses together so i'm gonna add that over here i have another one I'm gonna add this over here got some okay this other one's what what that <laughs> that's what i wanted to say they had some plaid and some gingham and i get to choose which ones i like 
I will just like go over there and we'll get a move on things and we'll see which ones I like the look of better. Because again, this does have both in the curtain and then I have these in isolation. I think I'm leaning more towards this green because green is my favorite color. It's my birthstone, the Peridot. And I think that this possibly could go on the table or I could just not use it all, just honesty. So I think I have like a um, liner, not liner, like a zip tie thing right there. And I think that's it. That's gonna be it for my, oh, there is some more right here. So as I look at this, y'all, I should become an interior designer, not because I'm good at it, but because I'm like always doing something and switching things around. Okay, so this is not gonna go because I feel like we have too many textures and patterns going on. So I would say the same thing for this. This does have pattern and texture. However, I think it goes well with this. And I think it tones everything down and gives it like a mellow feel. I This is definitely my number one go-to, like my number one pick. And I mm, I think that, yeah, this is going to be too busy. It's going to be too busy. Yeah. Yeah. I've, and I feel like, yeah. So even though it's going to be the, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> I wanted to work, make it work. But that's not going to work. Um, these two are not going to work. This could potentially work. This actually could work. But I think of all of these, maybe I am drawn to this. So I'm just going to take these two out and then these all the sets out and we're going to see what we can come up with. And I'll just automatically put these three back and then I'll just fold all of the curtains and the extra oh, blankets from when I changed colors and bedspreads and all of that in here. And actually... Is the one I want in here. I was going to say while I have this down, I'll take off the black that's on my bed and put out my spring one. I have these chargers that are just so cute. They are from Pier 1. $6. Got them at the thrift store for I think a dollar a piece. That wasn't the point of it. The point of it is that I have these and I have these to go underneath it. I could totally put this on the tablecloth and then just put whatever vegetable or herb or whatever I'm selling on here. How cute would that be since we're kind of going with a more fancy type feel. I had that for a split second of bringing in some of my various crystal pieces, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I'm just looking to see like, were there anything that, that was kind of cluttered looking or whatever, or seemed like it didn't match. And then I could take that over there as well. We're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. You guys see I like mirrors and look back there. <laughs> My other mirror. I love vintage looking things. I just wanted to make sure that I said thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have been showing my channel. Thank you for all the beautiful comments, for all the pink hearts in the description box, for all the likes, um, for all the shares. Thank you for just being a part of this journey. I'm curious, do any of you guys have like a farm stand? Um, do any of you have a shop kind of like this? I'm kind of curious. Um, do any of you guys like have honor systems if you sell cut flowers or produce or veggies or anything like that? Also, if you have any hints, not hints, huh, if you have any tips, if you have any suggestions, if you have any ideas for this space, for what I'm doing, go ahead and let me know that as well. I'm always open to hearing new ideas. I'm always willing <gasps> to learning something this new. Give me what exactly what I was looking for, exactly what I wanted. I bought these just to see, but I don't think that I want these. But if I want them later, I can always change it. We're making more progress. I had all these random flowers that totally don't go, but I was like, yeah, we're gonna put them in this space and we're gonna do something with it because this is a space that's 
no rhyme or reason. It's just a mesh of goodness. For now, it goes well there. As I bring out what this space is intended for, those type of things, then I can just like refresh this space and um, do something else. But for now, there's no reason these for these things to be bagged up. We can just stick them out on display. Um, and yeah, just keep doing what we do. You can, I haven't lifted this yet, but I really think that this goes good. So let me do what I'm supposed to be doing, which is the curtains. But I wanted to just kind of play around with things and see how they go and how they do. And so we'll keep moving. Okay, so this is what part of it looks like. I got, I got a lot on here, trust me. This thing is so much bigger than you can imagine. This was like for a triple window and I just made it fit onto the one. But anyway, there is some space, but I think I like that so that I can just kind of see what's going on. Um, of course, I could put the other one up there and just kind of like swoop it to the side. So again, I have the choice of either adding the gingham, which is like that plaid, or adding the stripes. And I think either way would be just so absolutely beautiful. I'm really trying hard to get this other one on the hook just because of all the fringes and stuff. But to be honest, I'm kind of having a hard time with that one because it's so long and I would absolutely have to cut them and I just don't want to cut them in case I ever use them again. They are fully, they are so beautiful. They came with the house and they're so special. Trigger warning, skip into the part where I just lift my hands and then you can just come right back. Um, the people who lived here before me, their daughter slash granddaughter died of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome and um i think one of her names was rose and so they added these roses to the property and they had these rose curtains made and um they're just so beautiful and so knowing all of that there's no way i could just or that i would want to just ruin them completely so if i can hold off on that even though this simple style is not as beautiful as all of the scallops and all the edges and fringes and stuff. I think I would hold off just to preserve that in case, again, I can use those or if someone else wants. I have five windows in this space, so in a lot of ways I'm feeling like it's, it's okay and it's going to be all right. But let me just get the other one up first and we'll just kind of see. I've lost two babies. I've had two miscarriages. Um both pretty traumatic so I just understand loss and and grief and I just thought oh this is a beautiful place to do something great and the Lord is going to use this in a mighty way for so many people so oh trigger warning over and I got myself in a sticky situation I'm kind of caught <laughs> my dress oh my goodness has some tie-ups in the back. Oh my goodness, so funny. Guys, when I tell you, it took so long. Like, I promise you, it took me probably 10 minutes to get this thing on here. But do you see how good this thing looks? Oh, it looks amazing. It looks so amazing. And it just looks so good with everything else. Versus this one. This one was good. I'm gonna stick that one right here. And if I have two more, I'll stick it into the window here and here. But if not, I'll just stick the plain one right there. I'm totally gonna spend another 10, could you put that down, Missy? <laughs> I'm totally gonna spend another 10 minutes and string the other one up because it just looks so good. It just has to go on there. It's just unfortunately, <sighs> then I'm gonna have to do this one all over again. But look at this, So it looks so good. Y'all. I'm out here in this rain, in this storm, working, thinking I'm doing a good thing. So excited, so pumped, like, yes, got the other one up. It looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just so phenomenal. I'm just like, I I thought, I mean, I guess this one has two. So one must have had one and one had the other. I really thought that I had two of those scallop ones, and it turns out I don't. I have two gingham, I have two plaid, I have two of the one with the floral, the valences, but I only have one scallop. Oh, that's not gonna work for what I need it to be done. And so then I thought, I can take this and I can bring it all the way over to this other window and it'll work perfectly. But 
the mirror is going there so that's not gonna work can't put it here because this is the actually the shortest window and it's already so bunched up on the other side so then I had the idea if I'm able to get something that's long enough some rods or ooh, I give me a blue sticks maybe or something maybe I could take it from here to here and then like if I could have like some type of latch to latch it to and then you could just kind of have that on this side hey hey and this right here would tie in this to this area over here lastly i thought about putting it right there but then that doesn't work because people are going to be coming in and out i could lift it up very high i think there's still be a little draping so i don't know what i'm gonna do i think that i might just take a moment and really think about this because at this point i just don't know anymore i think i'm gonna have to for now do both of them like this and then just do one solid right here and then i can come back and see if i can add the valence here or at the top okay and just like that that's what we're gonna have to end with because hmm well i already told you why <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can do anything else later but for now this is how we're sitting we have curtains and actually i need to probably move one of these right here and then we have our mirror we have a few things and then we can just put the other one right there. Didn't do anything to this area yet. I've just got that thankful, grateful, blessed there. But like I said, I'm gonna put something up here as well. Cause we don't really use this one. So this one can definitely get a longer one. And it's just got a lot of cuteness going on over here. Ooh, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for anything. And give me hearts and thumbs up if you're excited about this journey. Give me um, hearts and thumbs up if you think that you I like. am doing a good job with the space. Like if you're liking my ideas, if you're liking the flow and the way that things are going, the progress, all the goodies. And last but not least, if you have not, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out um, on the journey. The journey here, all the things that... Um, I'm working so hard to accomplish and to get done. So for now, I'm sending love and blessings. Remember, all things grow with his grace. You can do a lot with a little. To the next video, blessings. Blessings.